I don't like heights. Really? Yeah. But like, <laughs> it was scary because it was. I don't know. But like, it was nice. It was shaking, but it was still nice. Like, it was a good experience. Do you want Good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon to you all. My name is Henry. I'll be your guide in the next one hour. 45 minutes to reach the playing grounds, then to the canopy. So we start the tour from here. All right. Thank you. Okay. So you should follow? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay. Catch anywhere, bro. It depends on that. I'm gonna walk around. Uh, That's pretty. Yeah. That's, there are some three places in Vignale that you can see. Okay. Then around. There's a nice place to ride on. Cow. There's a oh, white really? cow there. That oh, I wrote yeah. It's been ages since I came here. Yeah. It's serious. Okay. Uh, we are <laughs> this way we take our first stop. Huh? I see. What's the height here? From down to here, what's the height? 12 to 15 meters, about sea level. 12 and 15 meters. About sea level. Okay. <laughs> A rest of you gotta rest here. Easy, easy, take it easy. I can see you're tired. You need to take a rest. Easy, easy, easy. Alright. Welcome to Kakun Conservation Area. Kakun Conservation Area is made up of two blocks of forest. At the north part is the Asina Tandasu Resource Reserve. Then where we are at the south is the Kakun National Park. This is where we have the penalty work. As you can see, where we're standing is the boundary line. This tells you that the forest is being protected by law. If you are found inside doing any legal thing, you can be arrested and put before court. Apart from only tourism activities we do in this forest, nothing more. This forest is 360 kilometers square, and it can boast of so many plant species. And also, we have wildlife species, like forest elephants, we have leopard, we have bongo, we have some different species of snake, like black cobra, we have green mamba, we have vipers. Hey, they are all here. Others, yes. We have about six different species of monkey. <laughs> we have about 300 species of birds and 600 species of butterflies. Okay. But, you know, about 94% of these animals living in the rainforest are nocturnal, so that they can do night hike huh? inside the forest. Even that one we don't promise. But the secret is that with torchlight or flashlight during the night, when you 
I mean, it means their, their eyes, they can move. That's why you can see them better. Yeah. So, this forest is managed by Forestry Commission of Wildlife Division. Yeah. So, for now, let's shift our focus on the canopy because that's what we're going to do now. Okay. The canopy is 205 meters from here. It was done in 1994. Yeah, it was constructed in 1994 by two Canadians with support from five Ghanaians. Yeah, it was commissioned in 1995. Yeah, that they started using it in 1995. When they, after the eighth construction, the Canadians left for their country and they left the Ghanaians. So they are responsible for the maintenance of the canopy. They are still here and they are training others. Maybe tomorrow when they are not there, they will take over. Every, everybody is safe on the canopy because every six months, everything is changed. They do major maintenance, like the nets, the boats, and the roofs. They change everything. So everybody is safe on the canopy. The canopy is made up of seven bridges. At the end of every bridge, you have a platform. So you have six bridges, six platforms. Where at the end of every bridge you can stand and take ground, take private pictures. I mean, admire nature. The length of the canopy is 350 meters long, and the height ranges from 11 to 40 above ground. You know, all human beings are not the same. Some may be cool with height, others <laughs> may not. So at the end of the first bridge, if you think you cannot do all the seven bridges, please just take left. Straight, the, that the bypass straight to the exit. That means you should have done three of the bridges. Well, that's when you take the yeah. bypass. So uh, I have a the, question. Okay. Have you experienced any casualties so far with respect? Oh, since 1995. Like you, you, you have heard it yourself because it's an international facility. Like CNN, those, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Because this project was, I mean, sponsored by United States Agency for International Development. So it's an international project. So that's why I always our mental team. When we were, we were coming, we met some two guys. Yeah, they, they the are one the mental team. with the overall yeah. green. Yes. So they are always, always there. Now we're about to close that's why we are leaving. Oh, okay. okay. To do the canopy. It depends. Because I like that to use less than 10 minutes because I can walk on it. You because maybe you <laughs> <laughs> that's it on it. <laughs> so it depends on you. It will depend on you. Can you run on it? Oh, why not? I have the experience. I'm mean, always here. Can you jump on it? Oh, why? Wow. No. Jumping. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't force it. No, no, jump. You had an experience. No, no, jumping, maybe. Unless maybe I want you to commit suicide. <laughs> okay. So that much I speak. Any question? Any question? How many people can be on a walkway? Okay. Oh. As, as, as I told you, we have seven bridges. Mm -hmm. So each bridge can take, I mean, weight of two big elephants. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Then yeah. 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 So you are yeah. safe. All right. <laughs> so we can move down. No. <laughs> Jeez. You love it, right? You are not getting into that stuff. Let's go. Okay, cool. I have to take you on the walk. I'm, I'm battling, brother. <laughs> I'm battling. This part is more scary. Yes, sir. It is. I'm there. Yes, sir. Good. Brother, nice one. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. So this is this part is This was easiest one. So just run on it. Yeah, we 
Finally, challenge you fair. Got a challenge you fair. Nice one. What they in for, right, brother? They don't know yeah. where they're going. They don't know what they're in for. They don't, <laughs> they don't have a clue. They don't have any clue, you know. <laughs> All right. We just... How, how was the experience? My experience was you have to challenge your fears. Okay? If, you, if, you, if, if, if fear takes over you, you won't complete it. Sure. You won't complete it. You have to challenge your fears so you can make it, to, make it across. Make it to one end to the other. If you don't challenge your fears and you don't have control of your balance and control of the vibration of the, 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 the rope shaking, you're going to get stuck and caught out there. So how do you relate this to life? I didn't hear you. For sure. How, like, how do you relate what you're saying to life, like personal life? Oh, this is an adventure for me. This is new for me. This is... You know, thing, something that I have never done, experienced before. This is new. And like I said, you have to challenge your fears. All right. Be able to make this trip or this journey complete. You have to challenge your fears. Very much so. You're going to descend.